And once we are old, there's victory. Yes. In the end. So stand to your feet um, and, and let us sing. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. And immediately, teach your mother is going to moderate the service for today in Jesus' almighty name. My hope is built on. Let us stand to your feet. And let us get this thing going in Jesus. Oh, mighty name. Let me welcome all of you. Jesus
Pontius Pilate was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell, the spirit he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the past.
come by and bless every yes, moment. I ask no one to help me come by and bless every moment. I that you would cover the place where I work, especially this church where I come out. My ideas has been rough. But I say rough in the time that I need God has always been there. Yes. <coughs> but all I can say is to the church is that I serve God and serve Him with all thanks. Be now my Savior. I confess to you. I need thee, oh, I need thee, Lord. I could remember when the house of food, not the one from the basement and here, but when pastor said on life support, so it's too much, the fifth is too much, yes. it. life support system, pastor would say that, yeah. root death, 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 remember that? Mm -hmm. ah. And root was on, life support. And then he, he, he called me one day and he said, I am, I am reviving, resuscitating root. And I, I want you to leave that house. And uh, he said, send some names for me. And I sent some names. And he said to me, take off that name. See, that girl, take she. And uh, I said, why, Pastor? Why are you going to take off that name? 
And he said, I can treat you. But you, you she auntie, you can treat you. So she looked at the board and she said, she, it's her name and she said, you're not putting my name on the board at the door. And I said, let me hear my pastor see. And I said, Pastor, I'm putting this name on the board. And Pastor said, you do what you want. And this niece of my name went on the board. But while she was frustrating herself there, I, it told me, get this cloth and put it on this lady so that I will initiate she to lead the house of Ruth. And that is how she will dress to lead the house of Ruth. And uh, so allow me to call to give a declaration. Here is none other than teacher Camille to give a declaration of Titan. Fill up the bowl and fill up the two glasses before I go to the birthday boy that is celebrated in Jesus Almighty. Praise the Lord. Well, that all is not going to change. Hallelujah. Yes. Tomorrow is my 35, 2016 birthday. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. For my son, I started yes. college and I have to turn to him for tutoring. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not yes. Yes. So yes. I point to him, so he's pouring back into me. Amen. Yes. 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 He's more strict than me when I want to give up. He's like one more. <laughs> yes.
God likes niceness, but he doesn't want us to always believe that we have to show signs of affluence. So it's just my way of telling my husband, the pastor, the father of my children, happy birthday in a simple way. Um, Tell me everything's gonna be all right. Trust in Holy Ghost. Tell me everything's gonna be all right.
speak. And then we go into the lighting and the pouring. Jesus. I uh we cry here Yes. Because our main focus was on a man. Yes. God is all true. 
I, 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 I want to thank God for Andy Grace, our son, 30 something years ago. Oh, oh. <laughs> and even though I may smile, I, 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 she knows that I'm a very difficult, difficult person to be with. How about I And sometimes I laugh at when people used to speak about King Shepherd and how being him being a pig, a little boy, they don't really don't know me. And I think Grace knows the ins and outs, and, and she just yeah. laughs and says, boy, these people really don't know you. I really, I really, I, I'm glad Shanice is not here because what I'm about to say, she might really be offended. There was a time when, 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 when I was really, 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 I felt like I couldn't go on, and I started to cry, and just the little man, he said, daddy, don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. Yeah. Whenever you see your mommy crying, how can I say, mommy, don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. Do you hear that, darling? Yeah. And uh, I used to think that's my eyeball just the morning or until God gave me the understanding to discern and say, listen, People have different ways of sharing yes. their the way oh, they of course. feel about mm -hmm. you. And God has given me the understanding now. So I no longer have one and I have two of them now. And she needs one or two is the apple of my eye. And, yes. Changes and we have a long journey ahead of us and I I I I wanna Let's challenge everybody to just stand your back. We have the odds against us, but with God, everything and anything is possible. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be possible. Once we put God in front, everything yes. becomes easy, easy. I uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, 51 means that I am one day closer to the grave. Yes. Every so day. Yes. Every day. Closer to the green, I pray that Every God day. gives me the, the, the understanding yes. to, to, to make me a better person so that I can be ready for Him when He calls me. Yes. To. Oh my God, I just want to hug everybody. I really want to hug everybody. And thank, yes. thank you. And just come and share your life with me, please. Come and share your life. Just come and share like just yeah. come one by one. Please. I don't know no, no, everybody don't know me my but Angela, is it? What's your name again, darling? Yes. Angela. And your friend, my friend in the back. Anne Marie. Marie, all the way from Baldwin, New York. Please come, 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 come everybody. Come on, 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 and on, just touch on, light and 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 just come on, 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 Jesus Almighty. And now I live in him, oh, 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 oh.
I bring down the enemy, oh God. I come in mission for the Lord, oh God. I place them at the altar of sacrifice. Yes, oh God. God, this evening, Jesus. I want to thank you for their coming, oh God. Keep them from the cunning and crafty men out there. Keep them in sin and sin that cannot find them. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bring Kalisha and Kaleen and Kaleen. By the cause of love, change of understanding. Remember them, oh God. Continue to go right for them as the days comes and goes. Look at the raiment and the shelter. Look at the red baskets and the water pitcher. I beg you, let them be never empty nor dry. Oh, God, continue to provide a way where there is no way, oh God. I bring you to Jenny, oh God. I bring Molly and Jenny to oh God. I bring Karen and her husband, oh God. And I bring the little daughter again, oh God. Find them with cause of love. We change our understanding. Remember them, oh God. Provide for them as the day comes and goes. Keep them away from the cunning and crafty men, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring Sarah Salisha, oh God. I bring, oh God, Sharian too. I bring, oh God, little Jackson before you, oh God. I bring Clarissa and Clarissa, oh God. Look at little Sarah too. Find them with cause of love and with chains of understanding. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Provide for them, oh God. Ravens and shelters. In the mighty name of Jesus, do with them as you see is best, oh God. Oh, Father of God, this evening, I've been as jealous of Connecticut. I've been the offspring of our body. Oh God, I've been little catty before you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, look how carelessly the damsel is going, oh God. I don't know what to say to you again, oh God. I don't know what to do again, oh God. But I place her at your right Spoon. I place her at the foot of the cross and I leave the case in your hand, oh God. You do it what you see best. You fix it, oh God. And I promise you, when you fix it, I know things well fixed. Sometimes it may hurt my hand for how you fix it, but I leave it in your care, oh God. Father and God, I thank you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Look at little Alex, oh God. Wanting a good sister of Jesus. But I beg you in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to watch over Kelly again. Oh Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Look at me heart to watch the daughter of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at the father of you in power tonight. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Pamela and I call of God. Look over them tonight, oh God. Father and God, lift them up before you. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Let no evil come out there dwelling. Oh, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Cease all outside communications, oh God. That will corrupt the good manners of Michael, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I bring you that show in an anti grace, oh God. Justin and Jesus and Fred, oh God. I bring them before you, oh God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the spring, oh God. Thank you for the growth and prosperity, oh God. Let some prosperity flow in this place. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I bring Sister Patricia Roberts before you. Anton and Anthony Roberts too. Oh, King and King of Kings. Be it to know Almighty me. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sister Bellamy and the grandchildren. Anthony and Kalisha, oh God. Look at the mother, this the father, oh God. Even to the father, too, oh God. I let you give them a word, oh God. Give them a good word of sons, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the maker, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please show oh God in the God of God sin. Oh, still in do and lift them up in front of you, oh God. Christopher in my cup, oh God, and lift them up, oh God. Oh, Kalisha Sandy, and lift them up in front of you. Oh, Jesus, blessed Jesus. When the time of deliverance come, I beg you grant us a deliverance. Oh, in the mighty 
the name of Jesus. Oh, Sister John, I pray, oh God, but I'm not laughing at Jesus. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, at the Paul, oh God, and the other sister, Jesus. Me shall have a fortune, my oh God, and a husband, oh God. Meet them with a weeping spirit. Shelter them in a time of storm. And the Indians are a family, oh God. You got that Indians, oh God. Oh God, weeping for the last of our God, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Look at that grandson, oh God. In the prison of the world, oh God. And then he do something for me, Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I bring the time before you, oh God. All the other members, I lift them up as a righteous stone. Oh God, I lift them up before you, throw them praise. Hear and answer pray, oh God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Don't that are in your name, oh God. Nicole and Mandy, oh God. And the mother, oh God. Keep them keeping on, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Make them feel that, oh God. And lift them before you, oh God. Oh Jesus, blessed Jesus. Have your prayer within a life, oh God. All of the members of the church this evening. Those that are there, name them name by name. But I know you are pretty with them, oh God. I bring myself before you, oh God. I bring myself as an evening sacrifice. Father God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your gift of love. I want to thank you for your gift of healing, oh God. I want to thank you for your gift of help, oh God. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, look at the Bible spring in the name of Jesus. I lift him before your righteous throne, oh God. Oh, continue to bless it's going out and it's coming in. Oh, in the name of Jesus. And then you bless the union, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I lift up the church before you, oh God. I lift up the pilgrimage before you, oh God. I lift this table before you, oh God. I lift all of us before you, oh God. Oh, sometimes I don't know what to tell you, God. But I beg you, I look beyond some thoughts. And I beg you to see some needs, oh God. Look at what I'm having into, oh God. Oh, look at the husband, oh God. Children and grandchildren, oh God. I lift them before you, oh God. I want to thank you for this opportunity, oh God. All members that came to church, look at your brother, go to oh God. I thank you for the son, oh God. Thank you for his offspring of his body and his wife. Thank you for grand to oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that Kenneth to oh God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sweetest name we know. Continue to ever keep us singing. Oh God, as the day go by, hear me and from your throne above, hear me and from your dwelling place, pour out of your riches of your grace, Jesus, your Lord and the adore. Oh, make me love thee more and more, I bring all of us that came to church, love that cause us to be healed, bind us with cause of love, chain of understanding, bind us, oh God, with sin and sin that cannot find us. Oh, keep us as bundle of sticks that cannot be easily broken by man, sin, or Satan. But oh God, I bring all the sunbats, I bring all the dolphins, I bring all the abets, oh God, I bring all the Philistines that want to come up against the church of God. But I believe you in words that said that they cannot come up against the church of God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, and this face every force is that wants to come up against the church and dismiss it in the pit of hell of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever is wrong, make it right. And whatever is right, make it right still. Oh, in the name of Jesus, make such rough roads smooth. Make such bumps smooth, oh God. Make some darkness light, oh God. Make some hatred love, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, continue to fence us, oh God. As a friend of God, the Lord gets somebody. Oh, do not remove your heads, oh God. Because some of them not strong enough. Keep your heads around us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stand up for help, oh God. Leave us not, neither forsake us, oh God. Oh God, and pass this day to put us down. 
Father, your mercy has interceded. I thank you for your intercessory prayer right now. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you are about to do. I thank you for what I believe you can do. Oh God, whatever you say you will do, I believe you is doing it, oh God. So I want to thank you for this opportunity. I want to thank you for all of us. Thank you for bringing us to church. Yes. So that we can worship and fellowship. Yes. And when we leave this place, oh God, you will take the need. Keep us safe So that we can come another time in Sabbath and worship. In the mighty name of Jesus. To Jesus Christ, oh God. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Good evening to all ministers, leaders, mothers, teachers, visitors, and members of the congregation. Today's lesson will be taken from Peter 3, verse 11. First Peter. First Peter. Two, three. Today's lesson will be taken from 1 Peter 3, verses 1. If all is found, we will begin. Yes. Let him issue evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensure it. Here ends today's first reading lesson. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, oh Lord, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, come on. 
I'm my sister before, I'm teacher modern today. The theme of the day is woman, where are dying accused her? And you know, with this it was, it was actually everybody you know was taken from verse eight in chapter eight, from John chapter eight, verse four to twelve. Yeah. When we look when I look up the word accuser, I, I recognize it's to be accused. I did you the accuser or you are the accused. Yes. So there was no big set of, of difference. So it's either I accusing you, but guess what? Watch my finger. I can be accusing my own self. Wow. <laughs> and so I started going into the book in the chapter. And when I start to read in the beginning from the fourth verse, you know, they brought the woman because she committed adultery. And then they, they told, no, but listen, they told the first command, Christ know everything. Yes. Christ know, I mean, yes. Christ know everything. Yes. Thing. But they think, they're so haughty, they're going to tell him, listen, Moses' law uh -huh. say to stone her. Yes. But they, want, they don't want to be blamed for stoning her, so they turn and they ask him, but what will she do? I, I'm breaking it down. Yeah. What will she do? Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus doesn't know the sad, the serious thing about us, our, we, human beings. We fail to remember that God knows what we're going to say before we yes. sin. Yes. Yes. So, God yes. doesn't know there was coming to yes. try to do strapping in some way. Uh -huh. So, then God turned and said, Go stooped down and start to write with his fingers. No, what they realized, it didn't tell us what God was writing in them. No. Yes. They say he was stooped down and writing with his fingers. He could be just saying, I'll oh, play with this dirt while you're looking for this yeah. master. Yeah. Yeah. Then, so, then he said, when he, if you realize, he lifted, they said he lifted himself up. Yes. They didn't say he stood up. No. So like, let's say we keep kneeling, He's too big long writing and he just pull up. Yes. <laughs> and he said to them, that which without sin cast the first stone. Mm -hmm. And then he went back, playing with the dirt or writing whatever it is important to him. Mm -hmm. Then, he, uh, after he said that to them, when you go down to the ten verse, Jesus lift himself up yeah. and saw that none was there. Thank God. Numbers there. So we have to be careful when we are, because listen, brothers and sisters, we are all human and we are emotional. We all bruise each other at some time and somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes things come on my mom, I'm going to stick with my family. Bruises my sister, bruises my husband, bruises my daughter in law. Bruises my grandchildren because when I get all haughty and see, I'm not using that other word I used to use, right? <laughs> when I get all haughty, I say the wrong thing. Yes. But it's because of my emotion, the way I feel at the time for what they did or what they do, I get all ready to be an accuser towards them, yeah. and they become my accuser. Yeah. And God don't want that no, 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 because. No. We were born and shaped in, this, in sin and iniquity. Mm -hmm. So we first have to remember that as often as we can. So when he asked the woman, where is, the, the, where is the, her accuser? She said, no, she said, no man, Lord. He, no, no one stayed, right? Like he said. So he, 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 he listened to this. Jesus turned and said, neither do I. Condemn me. Condemn me. That means he not accusing her for her adultery either. Because he don't know, he know that she knows she committed adultery and it was wrong. Yes. So he don't have to accuse her no more. Really. He don't have to accuse her. So he is better than no. Go and don't do it no more. Yes. But listen, let me tell you something. I really this morning. I because I worked last night and I was reading it last night. And this morning I read a part here. Let me see if I can find it. Tell you what I mean. And if anybody, teacher or anybody, can remember? There was a a whole um, in Hosea, Hosea, H-O-S-E-A, Hosea, 
I can't remember where I found it, right? Mm -hmm. And she was a, 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 a prostitute, oh, right? Yes. And she had a husband. Yes. So they realized that that woman, the God, Jesus Christ, tell that her husband, I'm just going because I can't find it anymore, Take it, yes. to go, yeah. go and there. buy back his back. He didn't say go and take you back from him. Buy. Buy back. Yeah. He able to go get stuff like that. So she was buying back his gold. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's face it. Yeah. He was buying back a whore because she was a prostitute. Yeah. So go tell him, go and buy back your wife. Yeah. But listen, he went for that. He turned and said, just like I bought the Israel. Yes. 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 And that sent me to understand. He set my, my mind wondering. Yeah. That God was saying to us, he did all, I mean, really, he did all these things as proof for us. God is saying to us, listen, I bought the Israelites. So who are you not to, con to condemn others for what they do and how they act? Yes. Leave it alone. Yes. When grace say anything buffing to me, I'm going to pray to this, pray and hope I do it. Eh? <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. Because I have to remember, when I point my finger at grace, there's a tongue point in that me. And, and you, but anyway, I, I really, it really touched me. And I want to say this, God is too wise to make a mistake. God make whoever tell you to tell me if there was a purpose I'm here. And he knew that the day will come that I will have to stand here when pastor comes to say something. Whether I read, whether I didn't read, whether I came to church, whether I didn't come to church, whether I party, whether I run around, he needed me to get the word today. The word I'm talking to you for is for me, Marilyn, Christopher Jones, and you who will yes. ever need it. Yes. I cannot say anybody need it. You or your yes. own self have to know yes. when you need it. Yes. Because even let's go to the last verse of the, the, the chapter. He said, I am the light of the world. Yes. He said, he tell him, listen, he's the light. And we need light to survive. Uh -huh. We need light to walk. Yes. We need light to talk. We need light for everything yes. as we go. We start yes. and only from healing yes. and formulating your yes. So, listen, brothers and sisters, hard as it is, tight as it is, mm -hmm. to come to plumb land. I am staying home and not going nowhere else but my the church I decided to come to. How many years ago? Hard as it is, tough as it is, that we are not perfect. I cannot look to Mother Nika to be perfect because I, Marilyn, is not perfect. Amen. I cannot look at Teacher Laura to be perfect because I am not perfect. I cannot look to any sister. I cannot look to Pamela to be perfect because I'm not perfect. I cannot look to my daughter-in-law, Roberta, to be perfect because I am not perfect. So I have to do what I can do in the best of my ability. And I agree you all that any three minutes that you can think about it, do the best and we shall succeed and conquer everything. <laughs> I want to say good afternoon to the entire congregation. Yes, thank you. I honor to God who is the head of my life. Mother Marilyn, I was sitting in the back trying to grow myself. And I heard every word and everything that I wrote on this paper is what you say. So. And she didn't study. No. <laughs> and I, I, you know, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Happy birthday, Uncle Sherwin. Praise God. I was thinking what song to sing, and I couldn't even think about a song, so. Go ahead. I'm just going to go into Straight. what I have here. Holy Ghost. I know the team of today is born where I die with cruises. Uh -huh. I did some research on this topic, you know, and to me, when I did the research, what came to me is how to deal or cope with challenges and when presented in a hostile environment. Amen. Amen. Which is really conflict resolution. Of course. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's good here. 
The story of Jesus at the top in this scenario with the scribes and the Pharisees at the bottom on one end and the woman without a name on the other end. Uh -huh. yeah. Think about this story as a triangle of events. Jesus is the pinnacle and he's being challenged by the scribes and the Pharisees who also challenges his humanity, his divinity, and challenges the humanity of the woman. Incidentally, in my research, when I was doing the research, I, I discovered that this particular extract was omitted from many early manuscripts. I wasn't sure why they did it, but it was omitted from some manuscripts. Before I go into the topic, I remember, I don't know if it's um, either defenders of the faith class or Bible class, and King Shepherd had covered this particular topic, and he spoke about, you know, the, the, the woman herself, uh -huh. He made us question where the man was. Where was the man? Where was the man? Uh -huh. and the only thing I can remember of that, because I was back thinking about my feminist stuff, is like, you know, when Jesus said to the cross, He, He, who is without sin among you, let Him cast the full stone. And I was thinking, Don't be feminist there now. Yes, that the man was hidden somewhere in the crowd because. If the crow was bringing this charge, you know, if you find your wife or yeah, in the man, yes, you will be at the head, go ahead. making noise by the crowd. So, you know, that, that was just my thought. And then I look at Deuteronomy, which deal with some morality laws. Yes, yes, yes. And then I, I realize, you know, there are certain punishment uh -huh. for certain yes, women. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. You know, and, and then I look at Deuteronomy 22, 21, and 23. Oh, yeah. You know, if the woman wasn't a virgin, she was stoned in the, in, by, yes, her, by her father's house. Uh -huh. And if she committed adultery with a man, their boat was stoned at the of outside course. of the temple yes. gate. So I was just wondering about that. Uh -huh. Safety. And then I remember that it was customary back in the days for fathers to arrange their marriages yes. to daughters. Yeah. And they used it to some old geezer extras. <laughs> to some young girl. Because you know the old men can afford the dowry. Yes. You know, yes. So you know it's a bunch of old men. Because if you really look at the text, they say the elders started walking away first. They didn't say the youngest, but yeah. the elders. Yeah. So you know, it's just my thought. <laughs> Feminist, go ahead. We see this incident takes place in the middle of the temple, which is supposed to be a place of reverence. Yes. The crowd came into the temple, interrupting Jesus' teaching. Of course. Just to challenge his fidelity to the Mosaic law. Uh huh. If you read carefully, it was also a challenge for to Jesus about his divinity uh -huh. and the validity to be the Son of God. Take your time. What this says to me that even in a quiet resting place, uh, trouble will find you. Of course. The woman here in this scenario is used as a pawn by the scribes and the Pharisees. Yeah. What is really a pawn? A pawn is a, is a chess piece with less value than others to be exploited for further gain. Yes. I can only imagine how the woman felt. The shame and the embarrassment and deep-seated feeling of anger yeah. mixed with feelings of powerlessness and unworthiness. Yes. Have you ever felt those kinds of feelings, isolated in an angry crowd? Throughout the whole scene, the woman remained silent. She never said a word until Jesus spoke to her. Mm -hmm. Do you think you and I would have remained silent? No. Of course. No. I would have said a few of her words. Choice words. <laughs> However, this woman knew in her heart that her defender yes. was there. Uh -huh. Jesus was on her. Yes. He know, she know that Jesus was her defender. She didn't have to say anything, but no. Jesus right there. He will fight her case for yes. us. As we read on, we see Jesus didn't have to, didn't get an emotional or burst after being challenged, but stood there silently, riding on the ground. This is a powerful teaching moment for all of us to employ the technique of consequential thinking, which is really think before you speak. Uh -huh. mm. What the or, you, or before you say something stupid. <laughs> as, as someone said to me recently, our emotions are temporary, so we must avoid making long-term decisions in the spur of the yes. moment on temporary feelings. Uh -huh. When Jesus did open his mouth, he didn't speak directly to the crowd, no. but delivered his own challenge in a clear and precise manner, uh -huh. without any hostility in his word to avoid unnecessary dialogue, you know, he invited the crowd to do some self-examination. Yes. When the crowd dispersed, Jesus alone with the woman asked, 
woman, where are thy those thy accusers? Uh -huh. You know, Jesus could have simply just walked away and said nothing to the woman because her outward situation was resolved. Mm -hmm. But he spoke because he knew that her inner world was in a great turmoil uh -huh. and she uh -huh. needed to hear a yes, word of yes. God. You know, what, what struck me about the story is not about the accused, but how Jesus treated the woman. You know, he treated her politely, with Amen. respect, yes. you know, with dignity. You know, those six words that Jesus spoke to her, it gave her back in humanity, if you really think yes. about yes. that. Yeah. It gave her a sense of feeling worthy, you know, from the crowd who just violently stripped over her in humanity. Yes. You know, they, they just stripped it away and say, look, I drag you in the middle. Just think about being dragged in the middle of the crowd and accused of stuff. How worthless you feel. And then you're looking for a kind person just to say, where, where, where are the accusers? In, in a nice, polite way, to give you a of feeling of human. Because at that minute, when the crowd drive you, drag you in the middle of the crowd, they say, you know, you're less than being. Less than, less than. You're not worthy. So I was just thinking about the way how, the way how Jesus treated her, and that is what I want to talk about, the way how Jesus treated this woman. You know, he, he had, he, um, the, Jesus never asked about the crime. He only asked about the people who wanted to be her judge, her jury, and her executioners. Yes. The lesson he has, I understood, is for us to extend our kindness, our generosity towards people who are downtrodden, isolated, humiliated, and placed on the outer bounds of society by the scribes and the Pharisees of today. Yes. Holy. They perceive others to be outside of the social stratosphere with no real value to be used as toilet paper. I always like to recall when I was in that same position, yeah. when I was isolated and talked about. If it was not for my mother and my brother who were my pillars, I probably would have killed myself a long time ago. Oh. But because God loved me first, yes. and the first to know my, the humanity within me, God extended his mercy, his grace, and his salvation, which I gladly accepted because I, God never questioned my past when others saw me as less than being. God accepted me as I am yes. and made the changes which I couldn't do for myself. Yes. Yes. I often wonder, where are my accusers now? Uh. What are they saying or still saying about me? Uh -huh. I bet some of them are still stuck in my past yes. while I have moved on to higher heights. Yes. I never thought I'd be the thing. I can truly identify with, with this woman. Just look at the platform of some of the presidential candidates who are using religious judgments on documented immigrants as well as documented immigrants of color to further their political ambitions. Do you think Jesus didn't know the woman's situation? Of course he did. He did. But at that moment, it didn't matter to him. No. Jesus said in a subliminal way to the woman, I see you, I hear you, I acknowledge you in the process, because he knew that she needed to go on living and not to a bare existence. His word, although challenging in some aspects, were polite, kind, and respectful. Jesus didn't feel the urge to be nosy as some of us are quick to find out whether the accusations were true or false. I can only imagine how the woman felt in the side, inside. And I can tell you, she felt really good. I felt that way when Jesus came into my life. <laughs> Think about if you could do that for someone, what you'd be saying to that person. So I'm encouraging the church to view others as human. We all are successful to make blunders, to make you know, mistakes, be a human. But you know, it, it, it is that we look beyond that uh, and just extend that hand of yeah, politeness. Yeah, need. No judgment needed. Just, just put, extend that hand and encourage that person. And you don't know what you're doing for that person. You know, instead of wondering what that person, don't worry about it. All you have to do is be human and see that person as human. Yeah. And that's my words to you guys.
right and everlasting God. We want to thank you for this day. Thank you for the rising of the sun. We want to say a safe and song for all those celebrating the birth of your Father God. Those that have passed and those that are yet to come. We ask that you bless them with your mighty hand, O Father God. Bless them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, O Father God. We have always told that the flesh and the spirit shall go at war. Father oh God, I ask you to let the spirit overcome this, O Father God. To bless us for our sins if we have done anything against your will, O Lord, because we need you day by day. And we actually bless this table. Bless the name of the Father. Bless the name of the Son. Bless the name of the Holy Spirit. And accept all that we have. Yeah.